Hey there, welcome to the ATZ JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. So far I've covered how to output data, and today we're going to look at two ways you can ask your user for input, essentially taking your web application from web 1.0 to web 2.0 by making it interactive. A more practical way would be to ask your user for input through form elements, and this is something that we will cover in a future tutorial. Today we're going to cover two built-in methods or functions of the window object called confirm and prompt. So confirm is a method of the window object which allows you to ask the user to confirm their choice, either an OK which means true or cancel or close which means false. You can then use the boolean input to trigger functions or cancel something and other actions within your script. And this is something we will cover uh, more in depth later on when we're working with forms. Prompt is a method of the window object which allows you to prompt the user for an input and then you can store that data, whatever it is, that string value, the number value into a variable and manipulate it and output it any way you want. So let's take a look. I have my basic HTML set up here and I have two little divs uh, with IDs answer and my input and I've stored these uh, elements into two variables called answer and my input so that later on I can manipulate it and I'll put it onto my screen here using inner HTML or inner text. So let's take a look at confirm. Syntax of confirm is fairly simple. It start with confirm and in quotes and parentheses you put in uh, your text. Normally it will be do you want to continue Let's run it, and I get a little confirmation box that says, do you want to continue? Uh, if I press OK or cancel, nothing really happens. Let's take a look at the console. Yep, nothing happened. So what we want to do is we want to store this value somewhere. So I'll declare a variable called confirm box. Can't call it confirm because confirm is a function, a built-in function of JavaScript, and it's already taken. So we'll do confirm box, and let's... Uh, just to make sure we're getting something, we'll uh, log into the console and make sure we're getting something. There's a confirm box, and we should be getting a true or false. If I run it, if I press OK, I get a true. If I run it again, if I press cancel, I get a false. Pretty easy, right? So now let's output it onto the screen. So do answer dot inner text equals to confirm box. Now if I press run, do you want to continue? Based on my click here, it does something here. If I run it again, if I press cancel, it says false. So now I'm outputting something, the user input it onto the screen. And when we're working with logic later on, such as if statements, we will, you will find a lot more use to the true and false um, booleans, and we'll cover that later on. So there you go, we have our confirm. Pretty easy, right? To confirm and just one argument, and either an OK or, or a cancel, true or false. Let's take a look at prompt. Clear this. Let's close this for now. So prompt, uh, you can do two ways. So prompt can take two arguments, uh, but the second one is really optional. You don't really need it. So let's just do prompt. And the answer your question normally would be uh, something like, you know, enter your name. I'm trying to ask your user for your name. And if I press run, let me... Um, just comment out the confirm so that I don't keep getting a pop-up. This is enter your name. There I go. This is the prompt box with a text field that lets me enter something. So I'll do Nasmus. I entered. Again, it doesn't go anywhere. So let's take a look at my console. It didn't go anywhere. So just like the confirm, we need to store this value somewhere. So prompt is returning a value, returning my name Nasmus. So we'll do var name. We'll store the value that we get from prompt into the name variable and then we can log into the console and see what we get name. If I run it, this is Nasmus. There we go, Nasmus. Now let's output it onto the screen using, let's do uh, my input dot inner HTML. Again, inner HTML in our text doesn't really matter here because we're not doing any HTML. So we'll do hello, concatenate, Add a space here, concatenate name, concatenate one more time. Concatenation I covered in my last tutorial. Be sure to watch that. So my input. Whoops, unexpected string. Name. Yep, I did not concatenate there. There you go. JavaScript console is really useful because if I didn't have this open, I wouldn't know what happened. So if I run it, it says enter your name, I'll do Nasmus, and there you go. It says hello, Nasmus. Pretty cool, right? Let me uncomment these. Let me run it. 
Do you want to continue? Yes. True comes up. Enter your name. And just put in Naz. There you go. Hello, Naz. Pretty cool, right? Let's do the second portion of prompt where you can actually enter a default input. Uh, it's the second argument, so you do comma. And in parentheses and in quotes, you would enter a default text. So if the user doesn't put anything, uh, you can put, uh, let's say, Bob. If I run it, do you want to continue? Okay, and then enter your name, and the default text Bob shows up here. So if you, so if you don't want some uh, someone to just press OK with blank, which it'll just show null, uh, you can just say Bob, and it says Bob. Whereas, let me show you what happens if you don't enter anything here. Let's say you didn't put a default text and the user entered nothing. You press OK, and you get nothing. It's it's just null. There's just nothing there. Name is not defined. Oh, well, that's all there is to confirm and prompt. This is something that can be useful for you. Uh, most likely when we're getting input in the future, we will not be using prompt. Uh, although in my next tutorial, we'll do some math with prompt and I'll put it onto the screen just as some practice of the last few tutorials. If you have any questions on prompt or confirm or anything I've covered so far, please ask in the comments below. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you for watching.